thing I want to do is introduce you to Matthew, Matthew and Andrew here. Uh, you guys show yourselves. Uh, they're, uh, I'm working on this house and they happen to be video editors and video photographers. And, uh, and they showed me some things that they could do with my YouTube channel. So this, you're going to love this, guys. You're actually going to love this. So again, Matthew, Andrew. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm Matthew. And, and really enjoy this. All right, so now what I've done here is if you can take a shot from that wall to that wall over there, this is a really long distance here, guys, and it's going to crack. I absolutely guarantee you this ceiling is going to crack someplace because I think this is something like 50-some feet, almost 60 feet from wall to wall. So I have to put in a control joint. And you've heard me talk about control joints before. But I'm looking for a good place to put it. And I don't think from corner to corner was going to be good. They're going to be putting in some can lights here. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go in between the can lights. So I'm going to have a control joint coming to the can light, from this can light to this can light, from that can light to that wall. And I think it's going to be hidden pretty good by the can lights. I think it's a good place to put it. The owner said, do what I thought was best. So, it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that's what I'm gonna do here. So, I, but if you noticed, when I open this up, it's in between the cavity. There's a, there's a, a joist here, and there's a joist here, a floor joist here, and there's a big cavity here, which makes this very loose. So I need to button this up a little bit and tighten this up a little bit before I can, Put my control joint in so that's what i'm doing right now so I'll, you just bear with me let me get this together let me get this together let me get this cut open let me get this uh ready to put in and then we'll get right back to you whoop that popped through no whoops here we don't oops here no whoops so so if you notice, I've got this big ugly gap in here. Uh, I've got the, the pieces tied together very well, so they're not going to be flapping. Uh, I, can, I can get my control joint in here with no problem. When the electricians cut in these lights, they're going to be a bigger hole, and they're going to use a big drill bit to cut these lights in. Uh, so they're going to have to cut right through my control joint and everything. But I'm pretty much ready to put my control joint in. It's not there. I know it's in here. Um, this one might work. Oh, this one will work. I know this is... These don't last me very long. It's, they get rusty. And they just don't last very long. But the first thing I want to do is cut the pieces to the right side. That's the first thing I want to do. So I'm going to cut this. Now, again, this, this light can is going to be way in here. So I don't, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it close. Uh, but it doesn't have to be perfect this direction. And when they cut that out, They'll, they'll be cutting this too. And you just cut this with some snips. That's all you do is cut this with some snips. And it doesn't matter. This particular one, um, it doesn't matter how bad of a cut I have on this side because it's going to get cut again too with the drill bit when the electricians come and do that. So I'm going to cut this piece. And you know what? I'll show you how I put this piece in. The first thing I like to do is spray, spray the... Uh, piece of control joint. That's the first thing I like to do. And then, you might want to back up your cameras because you don't want to get this glue on them. Then I like to spray a little bit on the ceiling. And when I stick these two together, it's like contact cement. It's just like contact cement and it just sticks. It's, uh, it lied, I lied. Notice it didn't stick. But, then I stick it out. All right. 
That's good. Next. Next. You know, I was uh, I was telling these guys a little earlier that when I was a kid, and you bought a uh, bought a motorcycle, you bought a car, you you bought something that had an owner's manual to it, right? And the owner man the owner's manual taught you how to adjust the carburetor. I know a lot of you guys don't know what a carburetor is anymore because they're all fuel injected. But cars used to have a carburetor, people. And uh, but uh, the car the owner's manual taught you how to adjust the carburetor. It taught you how to uh, basically take care of your car, how to uh, pretty much everything. It, it gave you the specs. It would give you the specs on the torque uh, for your head gasket. So it told you how to take your head gasket on and off and everything. So um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to this right now. Uh, I'm not too, um, you know, you want them relatively in line. If these were not here, you definitely need this in line. I needed to go in one piece. But you, it doesn't matter that much on this one because the ring on these light cans are going to be breaking this all up. But you don't want it crooked either. So you want a straight as line as you can possibly get it. And so this looks pretty good. And if you notice, that really stuck in there very well. Let me get this one stapled too. I'm going to go back to my other thought now. Too. So the owner's manuals. I told you how to, what, what you set the gauge at for your, your head gasket, your head bolts. Uh, I told you how to adjust the carburetors. They gave you a lot, a ton of information. So you could do it yourself. You know, today's owner, owner's manuals, hey, don't drink the battery fluid. That's bad. Don't drink the battery fluid. And you're just like, what? It's kind of like having those little, those little jars of chiclets in, the, uh, in your vitamin box. You know, they have those little containers that keep the moisture out. And you rattle them, it's like little chiclets in there. Don't eat this. <laughs> Come on. You know somebody ate it. You know, somebody ate that. That's why they had to put the warning in there. Don't eat this. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's get some common sense. Is there any common sense anymore? I don't know. Um, all right. So now that I'm finishing this up, what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to show you this particular video. I know I've done these. You, you'll see them. I'll, I'll attach them as cards. But I've done a number of videos with control joints in them, and uh, and what I want to do is bring this one to the end. So when we're done with this one, you're going to see finished product. Because um, the other ones, I really I shot one day, never really showed you the finished product. I never really did any of that. But this one here, I'll bring you right to the finished product. But I might do it in a couple of videos. I'm not gonna. Actually, I need some content, so I need to get a video up right away. So, so bear with me. Over the next few days, you'll see the finished product of this. But let's just get this one up, so you can get either started if you're doing it, and or uh, give these guys a little advertisement and give a. Uh, uh, give me some views and some, some some more subscribers. So there you have it. This is all ready to coat. And if you know, if you remember, guys, uh, when I get this all done and finished, this little tab right here peels away. This is tearaway bead, and it peels away. And you'll see that this is going to be a nice flush surface right on the uh, right on the ceiling. And I'll be I'll have this all mudded. It'll be finished out, uh, yeah, probably a, a level four, level five. Uh, I have to be careful because this is a long wall. These are some bad joints in here and easily seen. What saves me a, a great deal of, of discomfort on the ceiling is 
These are all light cans. And when you turn the light cans on and you look up, you're blinded and you can't see how bad of a drywall job I did. Yes. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> like the videos subscribe and if you really really like the videos please just share them with somebody else all right you guys have a great day